This video is sponsored by Noragon, the commercial vehicle data experts. Visit Noragon.com to learn more. On the night of All Hallows Eve, the ghosts and ghouls of the trucking repair industry appear when the clock strikes 12 and the blood moon rises high in the sky. It will be silent until that time when all of a sudden you will hear a witch's cackle and as her spell takes hold, the check engine light shall appear on all of your trucks. The ghost of preventative maintenance never done will appear and you will be haunted by engine fault codes. Ah! <laughs> David, what are you doing? What even was that light? Hello everyone, and welcome to Fleet Equipment's Data Center, the series that aims to make truck data approachable. I'm Alex. And I'm Allison. David was uh, being a bit dramatic back there with the flashlight and all that, but he was right about one thing. If you're not doing the right maintenance on your trucks, you will start to get fault codes, sometimes at inopportune times. And engine fault codes are among the most critical. First things first, you want to make sure that your drivers know when the check engine light comes on, it's not something to be ignored or put off till later. It's time to get that truck serviced. The other group that needs to be up to speed are your technicians, who should be trained on what these engine fault codes mean and what to do about them. Once the truck is in the shop, there's a simple yet often overlooked step technicians should perform before they even begin the repair process, and that's asking the driver questions. Asking questions about what was going on when the problem occurred will help diagnose many complaints that would take a lot of time to isolate or replicate in the shop environment. One helpful resource is to look at remote diagnostics and service data. Most engine companies that offer engine remote diagnostics have a portal of some kind through which customers can access the engine data. Of course, simply receiving fault code alerts doesn't solve any problems on its own. It's what you do next that counts. Fleets with remote diagnostics should have processes in place for how to deal with particular fault codes when they are triggered. Most remote diagnostic portals include information about the severity of the fault and recommended next steps. Technicians should also be sure to check the vehicle's service history as well, so that they can see what repairs have been already tried in the past, if any are relevant. Whether a particular part has been failing repeatedly, or if this is the first time, that's valuable information in determining what to do about it. Down the line, it could also help your ability to create a preventative maintenance plan that could help you catch problems like this ahead of time in the future. The types of engine fault codes that pop up are continuously changing over the years. What's new in that world? Noragon can tell us. First off, technicians should recognize that advanced diagnostic applications like JPro are essential tools for them to be efficient and effective. Today's commercial trucks are just too advanced to properly repair them without these tools. Nearly every system on the vehicle is now centralized and connected, meaning technicians need to scan all systems to diagnose the entire vehicle. This is something JPro helps technicians of any skill level accomplish from a single connection. Additionally, a comprehensive scan ensures that all issues are detected and helps to reduce the shop's comeback rate. We found that nearly 60% of all trucks leave the shop with issues when a diagnostic scan is not performed. So take the extra minute, connect to JPro, and ensure the entire vehicle is ready to go. Another thing to keep in mind with these tools is the necessity for ongoing education. Vehicle technology is rapidly advancing and diagnostic tools have to keep pace so technicians have the latest features and coverage to repair them. Take advantage of training opportunities from both dealers and diagnostic tool manufacturers. This will ensure that you understand the latest vehicle systems and know how to use your diagnostic application to fix them. The more familiar you are with using your tool, the faster you will be able to turn bays and help fleets maximize uptime. So ensure your tool is up to date, keep yourself trained on how to use it, and you'll be a valuable resource in any service bank. Thanks for tuning in to another Data Center episode. We'll be back again soon with more truck data insights and information.